Hi, this is Rita from Movie Spirit. In this lesson, we will introduce how to add photos and what kind of photo editing features we can make with our Movie Spirit. We will just give a brief introduction of all the features one by one here. Please pay attention to the red circle on the screen. The red circle you see on the screen is where my finger puts on. First, click the plus button to create a new project and enter the project name. The setting page will jump out here. You can set up the aspect ratio of the photo as you need. The photo I'm going to edit is 1 to 1, so I select the aspect ratio as 1 to 1 here. And then add photos. Select the photos you want to edit. Once the photos are added, you will go directly to the photo editing mode. All the photo editing features are listed in the middle of the screen here. You can add 1 or 10 or even 100 photos in one go. And remember, those photos you add together will become as a merge item here. So in case you add any effect or make any change to this item, it will be applied to all these photos together. Therefore, if you want one photo has one different effect, you need to add the photo one by one here. Before we introduce the list features one by one, we would like to highlight three important features firstly. The first one is you can move your finger across the screen here to change the photo location. The red circle you see on the screen is where my finger puts on. The second feature is you can resize the photo size as you need. The resize button is also located in the middle features list. We introduce it firstly here, that's because normally we need to set up the photo size once they are added. And then tap the tick to confirm the change you made. The third one we are going to introduce is about these six blue dots on the photo frame here. Drag any of these six blue dots can be free to change the shape of the photos. In case you don't like the deformation you just made, you can click the Move Right Circle Arrow logo to restore the original shape of the photo. Okay, let me introduce all the features from left to right one by one here. To enter into the photo editing mode, just double tap on the photo items. The first icon is the trash can icon. To delete the current editing photos, just tap on this icon and the photos you added will be deleted directly. You can re-edit the photos to make the editing again. The second sun icon is for the setup of brightness, contrast and saturation. You just need to drag the white circle dot in the middle to make the change as you need. The third one is about gradual opaque. There are several options here. We will just select one to show you here. Let's display the output of this feature. In case you don't like the effect you added, 
you can delete it from here. The next feature we are going to introduce is about the duration of the photo displayed. The default duration of each photo is 4 seconds. In case you want to shorten or prolong the display time of the photos, then you need to adjust the duration here. Let's see the output. Okay, the next feature we are going to introduce is about the transition effect. We can select one of the transition effects from the list to apply to the first photo or the last photo. In is for the first photo, out is for the last photo. We just random select one as example here. Let's see the final output. The next feature is about the rotation. In some case, maybe we need to rotate our photo. We can use this feature to perform it. The next feature next to rotate is resize. We already introduced previously, so we will disregard it here. Let's go into the next one, filter. There are different types of filter here. We will only select two of them as example. Please pay attention to the rest of code on the screen. Let me display the final output of this feature. Okay, let's go into the next one, Motion Point. Tap on the plus button to add Motion Point. There are three types of Motion Point you can add here. The first one can be used to zoom the photo. And the second one is for the photo rotation. And the last one is for the photo transparency. Let me demonstrate the operation steps. Please pay attention to the red circle on the screen. Click down to add the motion point. And again, draw the timeline to the next photo you want to add the motion point. We will add another motion point to this photo. Now, as we can see, there in total three motion point has been added. Let's see the final output. To remove the motion point you just added, you just need to double tap on the motion point number. They will be removed directly. The next feature is animation. This feature is very simple. Just select the animation effect you like. We will then select one here as example. Let's see the output. The next feature is about how to crop the photo. You can select the standard aspect ratio of the photo to perform the cropping. Or you can draw the four corner of the photo to make the cropping. Let's see the output. The next feature is flip. You can see the difference once you select the flip type.
The next feature we are going to introduce is how to change the shape of the photo. There are different shapes options here. You can select the one you like. You can also adjust the border of the shape and the border color. More shape options can be found under the advanced part. We rent and select one of the shape options here. You can see the output. The next feature is about the chroma. The RGB color are the standard color here. You can find the photo change by selecting the different color range. You can also customize the color by long pressing on the photo to pick color. But since this photo is not a good example to reflect this feature, let me select another typical one to show you. Okay, this is a photo with the fully green background color. Let's see what we can do with the chroma here. Select the green color and you will find the background color of the photo disappear. Let's see the final output. The third icon we introduced previous is about opaque we can do to part of the photo. But for this opaque icon, it will be applied to the whole photo. Please be know that these two opaque icons are different. The next feature is about the color splash. Long press on the photo to pick color. The other color on the photo will change to gray. Let's see the output. The next feature we are going to introduce is about how to duplicate a photo or photo check. As you can see, I just tap on this duplicate icon and the whole photo check has been duplicated here. Okay, let's go into the next one, replace. You can replace the current editing photo check directly by tap on this replace button. The last four icons in the feature list, with them you can move up and down for all the checks on the project. Okay, we have finished introducing all the photo editing features we can make with our movie spirit. In case you want to learn more professional editing skills, you can refer to our advanced course, which we will release later. Thank you.